Our Earth is massive. It is the fifth largest planet in our solar system. And it is what you, me, and 8 billion others call home. But with overpopulation on the rise and natural resources like coal and oil almost completely exhausted, it is easy to wonder if the Earth is just too small for all of us. Well, what if the Earth was bigger? Not a little bigger, a lot bigger. Jupiter levels of big. Today, we'll look into what would happen if the Earth was the size of Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system with a diameter of over 139,000 kilometers. At that size, it's more than twice the size of all other planets combined. The Earth is minuscule compared to the gas giant, a whopping 1,300 times more minuscule. To put that into perspective, if Earth were the size of a nickel, Jupiter would be as big as a basketball. If Earth were to suddenly become the size of Jupiter, there would be countless changes both to humans and the rest of the planet. It is impossible to discuss all the major and minor changes we would experience, but here are a few you would notice right away. A massive change in gravity. The first thing you would notice is the gravity, or rather, the change in gravity. On our regular Earth, Gravity is about 9.8 meter per square second. It is what makes an object fall back on the earth when thrown into the air. It keeps us all fixed to the ground and keeps our blood flowing normally. It makes life the way it is. Gravity on a Jupiter-sized earth will be about 11 times higher than it is now. And that alone would cause many problems. According to research at the University of Zagreb, Croatia, humans can only tolerate five times of Earth gravity before severe problems occur. Now, imagine if gravity was turned up to 11. You would be 11 times heavier, which easily renders any form of motion next to impossible, even breathing. Our eternal organs will scream for help. Of course, there will be changes to the body, and our circulatory system would get hit the hardest. Your arteries and veins will have a hard time sending blood all over the body, and blood would accumulate at your lower extremities because it would be incredibly difficult for your muscles and blood vessels to pump them back up again. That would cause massive swelling and probably death. Buildings can't handle the gravity change. Your body won't be the only thing that gravity changes skyscrapers and other massive structures would struggle to bear their weight. The Earth's gravitational pull will be so strong that it will compromise the structural integrity of many existing buildings. Houses would crumble. Bridges would collapse. It would be a Hollywood movie-level disaster. It gets worse when you look at things from a planetary level. With the Earth so massive, its gravitational influence on other celestial bodies will be exponentially increased. The moon would shatter into smaller bits and float around the planet. This would mess with oceans, tides, everything. Gravity would also pull asteroids down towards the Earth, raining fire and death upon us all. Yeah, not what you imagined when you clicked on the video, right? Okay, maybe we're thinking about this all wrong. What if the Earth didn't just enlarge all of a sudden? What if it had simply been that big since the dawn of time? What if the Earth was always the size of Jupiter? The short answer, life would still be very different. Trees and mountains and even people will be shorter due to gravity. We would probably all be little hobbits strutting about the place. Our bones will be a lot denser and our bodies will be built to withstand the gravitational pull. Oceans and land masses will be 11 times larger. This means that overpopulation would never be a thing, and natural resources will be seemingly infinite. Fish and wildlife and forest would be abundant. We would have so much wood and coal that deforestation and greenhouse emissions wouldn't be a problem. Global warming and climate change wouldn't exist, but there would still be a lot of problems. For starters, 
the earth's interior would have changed. The liquid mantle and iron core would be a lot bigger and with the immense gravity, the iron core would solidify. This might not sound so bad, but when you consider the fact that our current partially liquid core is responsible for the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from dangerous space particles, it becomes a huge problem. A larger interior could also make the Earth more volcanically active, meaning our Hobbit kingdoms would have a lot of mount dunes. But aside from our reduced sizes and increased volcanoes, there is another problem that is a lot scarier isolation. Imagine if America were 11 times bigger. A journey from Nevada to Ohio would be impossible with the number of natural obstacles that would be in the way. In fact, any long-distance travel would be unheard of. Rivers would be so large they would become borders in and of themselves. Transcontinental travel will most likely never happen. We probably wouldn't even know there were other continents to begin with and society may never be as advanced or as integrated as it is today. Everyone will simply be part of a small city or nation, never communicating with the outside world. What's more interesting is the fact that we will be physically trapped on Earth, with gravity keeping everyone and everything stuck to the ground. Space travel will probably never happen. Launching a single rocket to space on our regular Earth cost millions of dollars plus thousands of hours of planning and construction. To fight against 9.8 meters per square second of force, we spend an unbelievable amount of resources. And even then, we haven't been able to do much. Imagine fighting 11 times that number, 11 times that force. All attempts of space exploration will be rendered impossible. So, we would be alone in our cities and nations and continents, but we would also be alone on our planets, knowing that most of our biggest questions about the world would forever remain unanswered. Hey, it seems we're lucky after all. Earth is just perfect for us and it isn't getting bigger anytime soon. In fact, it's shrinking, which begs the question, what if the Earth were smaller? Let us know in the comments if you want us to answer that question. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. You can also check out some of our other videos for more amazing contents like this one.